Okay, we are live. Hopefully. Yep, we should be live now. We look live. Yep, we look very live. You're so. live, it's saying we're live. <laughs> yeah. um, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Um, and welcome to um, episode nine of. Is yeah. it nine? Yes, it's actually episode nine I thought... of the Reseller Chinwag. Okay. So, yeah. That's pretty, pretty cool. happy with that. Um, yeah. Let's have a look. Everything should be working okay. Everything's looking good on the um the old YouTube stream page. So yeah, hopefully it's okay. Yeah, it should be looking good for everybody. Okay, let's just make sure that nothing is on that needs to be on. We are looking okay. It's giving me like a high encoding warning. I think that'll oh go dear. away. That's fine. That's fine. Because I've I've paused the video now, so it's fine. Okay. Good evening everyone. Welcome to Episode nine of the reseller chinwag. Yes. Um, it's good to see people are already in the chat. There's 25 mm -hmm. of you watching, joining us. Um, we've had to move it forward from our regular day. Obviously, yes. it's Thursday. We're a bit busy tomorrow, so we're not going to be able to make it on time. Um, so and we, we thought, didn't want to postpone yeah. it. Um, yeah. So, so we thought we'd yeah. move it forward instead. Exactly. Rather than miss a week, we thought we just move it forward quickly, get it um, out today instead. And we've got a fair bit to talk about um, that's happened. So. Yeah. You know, it should be a good little chat. Um, there's been an, a number of things. I mean, like we'll, we'll go through our sales. Uh, you know how how we feel sales are mm -hmm. going. Uh, we'll show you. Uh, I think it's like ten um, items that we've sold this week. Mm -hmm. So you're getting an up to date yeah. look at what we're selling right right this week. Um, what mm -hmm. we're selling, um, and um, we're going to talk about as the title of the. Uh, about customer is. service. It's about customer yeah. service, right? Yeah, and how you provide. And, um, <laughs> yeah, and a few little things that have happened to us this week that yeah. have hopefully turned out okay. Yeah, I, yeah, hopefully, yeah, <laughs> hopefully, yeah, it's turned out. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's yeah. It, it. Seems to be okay. Yeah. So as mm. usual, we're going to do it ourselves first. Um, again, we're doing decently this week. Not amazingly, but decently. We are over. Overall, we're well over it because we've got the the Amazon stuff as well. But yeah. just for eBay, uh, we've been doing over a hundred pounds a day, so it's nothing amazing. We haven't gone into some kind of overdrive no, mode. but it's been consistent. Consistent the last couple about of weeks, yeah. Day, so yeah, it? it's, so. It's, it's, it's so we're doing okay for our last seven days mm -hmm. uh, worth of uh, sales. So we're pretty pleased with that. Yes. Um, I mean, I'm always a bit unsure on how the seven days works because sometimes it's it's good and then, like, say, mm -hmm. you know, we'll sit here and go, yeah, seven day figures are this, and then tomorrow it will drop because one day within the last seven days that was particularly good then gets wiped off. Mm. So you bear that in mind, but I think we're, we're, we're doing okay anyway. We're yeah. pretty happy with how things are going. Okay. Um, yeah, overall, we're pretty pleased, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I am obviously I am obviously going to be starting um, work. I've been doing like a few bits of of, We've been of a bit training busy, and, we? we're doing training yeah, and stuff like you know, that. That, it's been a lot of that. A lot um, of induction. Taking you away and yeah, we left didn't. Me. Yeah, well, we didn't get to go to as many auctions as we no, wanted this week, no, we which didn't. is a little bit of a shame. We didn't. Um, but overall, you know, we're still happy with with mm. some of the stuff we've got and 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 how things are going. Um, so before we carry on, um, like. You know, talking about that, um, there's 40 people in here already, which is wow. amazing. So we've got Darren Smart reselling, Silver Pirate, Daniel, mm -hmm. Jason Entwistle, Amisfield, Hicksy's in here, Mark Bradbury as well, Bobby Billington as well. Um, Bobby says he thinks that the thumbs down is because they didn't start bang on time, a bit harsh. Um, it could be for a number of reasons. This that is, was my fault. I was yeah. getting coffee. <laughs> this, is, this is YouTube, so kind of. <laughs> Yeah, you kind of expect. Uh, overall, people are great, though, aren't they? Yeah. So, um, let's go. Um, it's very. It's been on for about twenty minutes. Says Hixie. Has it? No, it hasn't. Um, uh, uh, let's have a look. Um, Steve's in the chat as well. Mm -hmm. Monkey as well. Um, Monkey says I called someone a freeloader. Who was that? Monkey yeah, that? Monkey says I called someone a freeloader. For getting a refund off me, it felt good getting it off my chest. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's an interesting method of, of dealing yeah. with customers. I, I don't know whether you actually called them that in a message <laughs> or not, or whether you just called them it out loud whilst you were working <laughs> just to get it off your chest. Uh, you know, we say some horrible things about people. 
Well, I, I do, don't I? Yeah, probably yeah. more you. Yeah, it's me. I, I'll say some horrible <laughs> things about you, but it's just to get things off my chest, so yeah. not too bad. Um, Daniel asks how the drum machine is. It's still for sale. I've and actually, it's not plugged in. It's not plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> it, it should be, though. No, it shouldn't. I can get better. You're not giving me a chance to flourish. I, I had enough of it. Obviously, I, I think there's creative differences in the house. Um, I don't think Rebecca wants me to flourish into the the creative that I could be. Become the beat master. I could be the beat master, yeah, yeah. I could be. But no. I no, I don't think so. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's the situation with the drum machine. Yes. Um, Silver Pirate says, I was hoping payday today would have been a bit better. Payday will be for people tomorrow as well, so, you know, yeah. it's going to happen. Um, David McGregor's in, um, you know, hi David, I've got something to talk about in the sales that involves that, that awesome package you sent us, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, okay, my wife loves your Xmas jump of X. So his feeler one is less fair. You know what? I feel that I wear this all the freaking time. I've, I've got like a nice wool jumper underneath it as well, which is quite cool. Well, I actually said to Zaheer, it's the first of Dece December I can get away with wearing this now. Yeah, you can get away with wearing it now. I, you know what's really terrible? I had like, I had a Christmas jumper that I wore for two Christmases, I think. And it was a Primark jumper. <laughs> And it was finally time to let we it. We sold it. Didn't we? we sold it. We didn't get much for it. I think it was like six pounds plus shipping. Um, but it was a really cool jump, wasn't it? It was yeah. like Santa coming out of the chimney. Out the chimney. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I wore it. I, I wore it like two, um, you know, two Christmases in a row as well. I mean, that's yeah. pretty bad. Um, okay, so. It's, it is what it is. Well, you bought it for work, too, didn't you? We did, yeah, yeah. Wait, it was longer yeah. than two yeah. years then. Two years, yeah. It must I have been was about more. three years. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know, it could be, it could yeah, well be. Yeah, because you, yeah, you went. Um, yeah, exactly. Two years ago, okay, you we, were doing this. we have got 47 people in here now, so what we're going to do, we're going to carry on with the show. Mm -hmm. um, hello to everyone. Ryan Senior is just coming as well. David Morse, Treasure Pirate. Um, mm -hmm. I've said Bobby Billington, David McGregor. Um, yeah, so hello to everyone. Um, living life as well. Or, or, Orchard girl, is it? Orchard girl. Yeah, orchard. Yes, orchard girl. I think. Um, yeah. So, girl up north as well. Wow. Cool. Um, all right. So the first thing we're going to talk about, uh, we've we've kind of talked about ourselves. Are pretty good. We're happy with how they're going. Mm -hmm. We're doing. I think at the moment, last seven days works out over good. At, pretty well over a hundred pounds a day so yeah, yeah um, I'm pretty, pretty pleased with that so what I'm gonna do is like we did last week we're gonna switch over to like the webcam view mm -hmm. with the with the web browser and we're gonna share 10 items that we picked up um, that we have sold within the last six days yeah, yeah, because because obviously we started. Start, yeah, we did Friday. It would normally be seven. But yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we shared some. It is what it is. I think we yeah, can. Yeah. See, yeah, it's not the end. It's not the biggest thing. All right, boom! Look at that. All right. Brilliant. This is the first item that I want to share with you guys. Yeah, no, this we picked up a jumble set. I'm sure we showed this in a haul video a yeah. few weeks ago. Yeah, we we got this from a jumble sale. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty cool item. Yeah. Um, yeah. What I did mean, you pay for it? I paid um I paid two pounds I think for him, mm -hmm. and it's like a Wally cube um figure. Um, he's quite cool. Um, let me just have a look and see if I can show you how it works. Um, you've got, you know, he pops out, which is really uh -huh. cool. So, so this is what he looks like normally. Yep. Um, he is just a cube, and then you press different buttons, and then he's like his his wheels pop out, his head and his arms pop out, which is really uh -huh. cool. And um, you know, it, we bought it for two, and it sold pretty quickly for twenty five yeah. plus shipping. I mean, so we were yeah, really nice little sale that is. Um, UK resellers in the chat as well. We're going to try to keep up. Um, and yeah, and Hixie mm -hmm. says you grew out the Christmas jumper Z, and it ended up looking like Santa was bursting out your stomach. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, um, Vulcan Bree says, "Is this going to be another rant week?" I'm um, not ranting I though. I don't think no. so. We haven't. I'm, I'm not. I'm not in a ranty mood. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm okay. I'm good. Um, so yeah, there's no rants. Yeah. 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 But Wally's gone, unfortunately. But he's mm. awesome. He sold pretty quickly. Um, next sale. Now, this is something that I've had for a while, mm -hmm. and is a good example of us overpricing things. Yeah, we we played yeah. around with price on this one, didn't we? Yeah, to, we did. This is this a WWE um, 
edge figure, action figure, and he's part of the elite range. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's we got him for, in a bun, bundle of wrestling figures for not much money. Um, we didn't pay like a huge amount for mm-hmm. for each item, but it, it, so it was a good deal overall. I can't remember exactly now. Pound, 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 something like that. Yeah, yeah. Considering it was from someone yeah. who was like a dealer type person then you know especially then it was a good deal and you can see we actually got him and we've got his coat as well mm-hmm. which is cool um now we we got this guy a few a good few months ago i think it was at the end of the boot fest season like augustish mm-hmm. septemberish yeah, something August, like that and we've had yeah. him up for a while and we were asking like 29.99 Every now and then we'd get a few watches, it just wasn't happening. Twenty nine ninety nine we'd get watches but no one was bidding. Um, no one was like pressing buy, so it's kind of a bit disheartening. Um, because you you kind of know that it's a popular item and when you look at the completed uh you know when you when you check yeah, out completed, completed you, you can tell, can't you, how like, many sell. It's um, yeah. you know, regularly. Regularly, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so um, the wasn't we were overpriced. Yeah, we were a bit high priced, so um yeah, we ended up dropping to twenty four ninety nine, and then we ended up finally dropping to twenty. It's not what you want to be doing, but we thought it's better to kind of start high. Should we just get you in focus a bit? Like you're like so leaning, out. Yeah, yeah, leaning out. Yeah, anyway. yeah. You're leaning out. Okay, Can but lean in no, it's fine now. No, because then it ruins it. Yeah, it exactly. ruins it. I'm pretty professional here. Okay, I'm still messing around then. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up selling him for twenty pounds, which is pretty good still yeah. when you think about it for mm-hmm. a single action figure. So pretty pleased. Now the next item. Now this is something I'm kind of excited about, really. Um, again, it's something that I've had and asked a lot of money for for a while. And um, what this is, I this this is actually this goes back to something I bought when I was down south. I bought like this um, Amiga bundle uh, like ages ago. Tons of games tons of um, everything basically and you know I've sold a lot of it it was very mm-hmm. profitable really good and there was these books um, and this is a, this is a Dungeons and Dragons clue book um, so it was for the Dungeons and Gra- Dragons video game yeah. now uh, you know it could have easily gotten chucked away because you know you've got all the big box games that you can research and uh, you know it, it just looks like a clue book I mean kind of similar to today's strategy guides or something they don't inherently have a lot of value do they no. and to look at it it wasn't no it, i mean it was something we were tempted to just kind of yeah to one slide wasn't it we weren't even going to list it at first and then we looked it up and we were yeah like, actually yeah exactly actually it's <laughs> worth it yeah i mean again we did start off a bit high i think we were asking 40 pounds or 50 pounds mm. for a long time i think it was 40 uh, and i'd put best offer thinking someone would make an offer but i find that if you're so overpriced mm-hmm offers won't come in no. because you know you'll either get really silly offers yeah, or personally I feel you've got to, you've got to be kind of close to what you what it should kind of go for I know occasionally you are going to get people that kind of do like a really low ball offer but generally I think if someone's going to give you a sensible offer you have to kind of be kind of relatively close, close you, to you, you've got to feel like you're you're offering a, a, a price that they're comfortable to mm-hmm. make an offer on like um, obviously someone that's going to make a silly offer will make a silly offer mm-hmm. irrespective of what your price is if they want to offer you a pound for something they're going to do that anyway right? Yeah, it kind of reminds me like of yeah. um, a pair of trousers that we sold this week that um, the woman just offered like 50p less than we were asking. Yeah. And it was just like... <laughs> because you were reasonably yeah. priced, she didn't like, you know, she wanted yeah, the she item. Just yeah, she just knocked 50p off. Yeah. I was like, yeah, all right then. Yeah, okay. exactly. So, you know, we, we kind of ended up dropping the price, I think, to yeah. 30... I think it was around 32.99. So we didn't drop it massively yeah. from like 40, but 32.99. And then... Um, I got an offer for 25. Now, I don't know whether I should have taken that or not. I did because I thought it was worth it. So, yeah, mm. I do know if I should have taken it. I should have taken it. It was a really good sale for... I mean, this is just gravy on top. I mean, I think mm. I paid like 30 quid for an Amiga. Tons of games. Some of the games I sold for huge money. Mm. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm talking like... There was a guy that, from like Sweden that bought four games for like 100 and something. And I think I've sold one single game. I think it was Lemmings Christmas Edition for like 60, 70 pounds. Mm. Um, so, yeah, definitely... Um, it was it was one of those situations I was pretty happy about that 
getting 25 pounds for that and it's something to look out for if you're if you see like a an, an amiga hall or an atari mm. hall um that that may have or you might have like lost something do you know what I mean? like you might have lost the actual atari or the amiga bundle but this kind of stuff can sometimes get left behind mm. worth looking out for anyway but 25 pound plus shipping um on that item which is fantastic so mm -hmm. really pleased with with that um let's have a look um mm -mm -mm. next item um this is quite a cool sale because just of the value of it we mm -hmm. me and beck we picked up well you want to tell them how much well, we pay for all our stamps for all of our stamps um we i mean we should again we showed it in a previous um video but we got a massive box um and we paid 25 pound for the box yeah was it 25 or 25 or 20 i think it was 20 I think it was 20, I think they wanted 20, but we got it for 20, yeah. and it was like and it, loads, yeah. There was yeah. just absolutely loads of them, and then so, some of them, like we've got like really big stamps, and then some of them are little tiny ones, so yeah. they're ranging prices, some of them like haven't three been pound used, plus some of them had been used. Yeah. Um, but they've been selling they've like been really selling well. really, yeah. Con consistently. Very consistently, yeah. And we've had um, a few multi-buys, haven't we? Yeah. But we wanted to share um, this one specifically, because... Um, now this one, yeah. I think went to Australia didn't it mm -hmm. um, and her shipping was actually more than the price of the yeah item. I mean, so she had to pay the 10 pound for the stamp plus our three pound shipping mm. and then she paid like another 10 or 13 pounds yeah yeah it, ju it was just a cool sell for that reason alone that someone really wanted really wanted it that badly. stamp yeah they really wanted it um, yeah. and they got it so yeah we're happy um, but that brand is a good brand to look out for anyway oh cool next item um, it's a little Sylvanian family's mm -hmm. um, uh, windmill. Um, I actually got like a local pickup um, of a Sylvanian family hotel and a windmill. Mm -hmm. um, we put most of the furniture that came with the hotel to, because it wasn't yeah, a huge amount. Yeah, we put it in the hotel most of yeah. it. Or we just put had a little a family and a bookcase. There, yeah, there. I think it was the family and the bookcase. To be honest, and that's all I gave with it. Yeah. I even took the table and chairs out. So. Yeah, yeah, there was just a bookcase and that. Um, so it, it was pretty good. So mm -hmm. got that sold for 35 plus shipping. Yeah, that was actually quite quick, wasn't it? Yeah, well, they're both bits sold really quick. Yeah, yeah both bits sold really quick. Um, mm -hmm. Next item. Now, this is actually quite cool. I actually got like a little package from David McGregor. It was actually quite a big package of, mm. of wires and bits that he, he just wanted rid of. Um, so he offered them to, to me, and I, like literally just for shipping. And I was so grateful. So, you know, big shout out to David McGregor, yeah, legend. David. He's in the chat. Um, and in there, I hope he knows, was this phone. Um, he probably does know, I'm guessing. Um, if he doesn't, tough. Um, so, so um, and there goes, um, it was a Motorola V3 phone. Uh, quite old school. Yeah. It's really funny though, when you hold these phones, they're so much nicer to keep in your pocket than new phones are. Because they're so much smaller, aren't they? And yeah. Don't you think? It's just, uh, new phones are just yeah. bulky now, aren't they? Yeah, um, right. So, um, Girl Up North says, oh, I'd have bought that windmill from you. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was pretty nice, actually. It was, it was pretty cool. Well, well, yeah. I did yeah. play Yeah, you did have a little play. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the old school phones can be worth picking up. A lot of people uh, don't, um, you know, it's mm. it don't really value them. There are some which are very valuable. Um... I mean, if you can get like a Nokia 8210, that's really good money. Mm. I'm sure if you get an Ericsson T28, something like that, really good money on those. Yeah. But this is a Motorola Razr V3, and we got it was unlocked. It had the Vodafone splash screen. We got fifteen pound plus shipping, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. So pretty happy with that. Yes. Uh, next item, it's a a till. I've shown these before and sold these before. Mm -hmm. um, an electronic cash register. Um, it wasn't in the best condition because it had like a few bits like a bit of damage to the coin tray there was no keys to the cash drawer um but it and and the buttons were very worn like the the, the key um <laughs> dave mcgregor says it wasn't my phone if there was any dodgy shell <laughs> no there was nothing do there were some photos but it, they weren't clearly they weren't of you they, they were yeah. so we factory reset it anyway yeah. um so so that was it um, 
so yeah, I mean, like, I mean, Valkenbury says that was his favourite phone ever, the Razer V3. I like the Ericsson T28. Did you have one of those? I did have one, yeah, yeah, but I like the Ericsson T28 the most. But yeah, like, moving on to the cash register, we got that from an auction for 30, yeah, yeah. 30, 30 32 pounds, I think. And the, 32. Yeah, and that, uh, plus the. Fees no, no, I think the fees yeah. took it because the fees are like quite low in, in that auction. So we paid about 35, 36 pounds, I think, something like that. Um, so mm. from that to get 80 quid very quickly. Um, Plus fifteen pound yeah, shipping. It was a quick turn yeah. on that one actually. Yeah, exactly. So eighty plus shipping, very happy with that. Um could have gotten more if I'd waited a bit longer, but it had a lot of watches, it was taking up a lot of space. Mm -hmm. I'm quite happy to flip it for a decent yes. amount of profit. Um the cool thing about this was is I did get a guy hassling me asking whether I'd take fifty quid for it. I was like, No. We even got um, a message off him today as well. Yeah, we so like it was really gone. nice to be able to say it to him. Unfortunately it's sold. sold, someone bought it at my asking. So that was pretty cool. I was um, pretty happy with that. Um, now, moving on, this is one of my favorite sales mm -hmm. ever. Um, here we go. Again, this is an item I've held on to for ages. This is... But we, we should have done some better photos than that. I think that's a pretty good photo. I think that's like a cool sign, right? Peace. No, but when you Peace. look at what other people have done in their photos... Uh, yeah, they yeah, have, but I think that one... Stuff. I know, but I, I actually think that one's a nice pose. Yeah. It, it was a nice pose. Yeah. But this, guys, is definitely worth looking out for. Um, this is a Spider-Man 2 action figure. Mm -hmm. He's 18 inches tall. Huge... Um, action figure so he's like 18, 18 inches tall mm -hmm. um, and he comes like you know I just took a few like different poses yeah but yeah, he, he's 18 inches tall very tall guy um, and he's very articulated I think he's got like 72 or 73 uh, points of articulation yeah. Trisha J says late to the party it's fine hello anyway <laughs> um, I hope you enjoy the chat um, like He's got 72 or 70, I don't know, some I ridiculous amount of articulation. Money, so, yeah, well worth picking up. I was a bit dubious about paying for him because I think I paid like six, or six seven, yeah. or even eight pounds for him. I can't remember now. It was, it was with a bundle of... I think it was about six or seven. Because yeah. we did buy a couple. We got another Spider-Man yeah. with it, didn't we? And the reason why I've had it for as long as I've had it is probably because of my pricing again. I started this guy off for like 60 pounds months and months ago. And I think people are obviously just coming in and selling because they go for a lot less than even what I've gotten for him. Maybe it's because of it's coming up to Christmas, the price is going up. But this guy's awesome. He's very detailed. You can move him around, pose him however you like. One thing to notice, if you do see one of these when you're out and about, the head is very wobbly. Mm -hmm. um, and you might think, oh, it's a bit loose. It's going to lower the value. It's not the case. That is how yeah, they came. Designed, yeah. yeah. I don't think it's how it's designed. I think it was just they were made badly. <laughs> so no, the heads are a lot wobbly. of people yeah. have, to have the same kind of problem yeah I because uh, I checked it out it's out the box the heads will be wobbly yeah. so some people have got these in box and they're worth like over a hundred odd pounds um, when they're new in box mm -hmm. um, but yeah it's from the Spider-Man 2 movie um, really cool figure if you see him grab him because I've got 40 pound plus uh, shipping uh, mm -hmm. to Ireland I think in the end so was, they paid more than 399 mm -hmm. um, so that was really cool mm -hmm. um, next Item. We're getting down to our last couple of items, and then we're going to talk about customer service. Yes. Okay. Next item. This is something I know not much about. I think I paid three pounds or two pounds at a boot fair for this fishing reel. Um, it was a Garcia Mitchell. I picked it up because I think it was made in France. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, and it, it sold for, in the end for twelve ninety nine mm -hmm. plus shipping. So you know, I'm not really into it. So we're going to move on. Next item. This was part of a. Oh, Jimmy White has joined us as well. Uh, um, Amisfield says my head's always wobbly. Um, Paul Weaver's there as well. Um, yeah, I mean, like, this is quite a cool pickup in a way because I bought it as a job lot as part of, from an auction. Unfortunately, yeah. it turned out not to be working. I think I may have undersold it because it sold very quickly. It's faulty, um, but it sold within a. Yeah, I think I under, underpriced it because it. I put it, it up for. It sold very, very quickly. Yeah. Actually. So I've got a feeling I, yeah, I should have asked for a lot more. Um, there's a Toshiba AM FM cassette radio. Now, um, I should have, I really should have checked out um, what, what was what the deal was with it. Um, you know, because there were actually case screws missing. Mm -hmm. um, but still, it went really quickly. Um, Monkey says, yeah, but a new seal that's been remade could go up in value. Um, 
yeah, yeah, it could it could have gone up in value. Yeah, you're right. Um, Jimmy White says big market in reels as well. Mm. By the way, we've got fifty people watching, which is really awesome. So mm. thank you very much for joining us. Appreciate it a lot. Um, all right, we're gonna move on to. Uh, I think well, no, that was the last item that, that we wanted to show. One, yeah. So um, Freckles has just joined us. Okay, um, yeah. So we've just gone through the ten. Um, recent sales of the week so I hope you enjoyed that um, seeing what we are picking up um, so seeing selling. what we're selling yeah mm-hmm. seeing what we're selling so that's that um, <laughs> how long have you been selling on eBay asked Paul Weaver um, doing it like yeah doing it like for a, for a pretty much like a, a well at least a minimum wage income um, <laughs> probably about two years now so yeah it's been yeah it's been quite a while it's been yeah, quite it's been a while yeah, so um, Raz says sold a past the bomb game today, posted to a care home. True. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, so that's what we've sold. Now, what we want to talk about today is customer service. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want to explain what happened quickly? Um, which one do you want me to talk about? Because we've had a bit of two this week, haven't we? Talk, about, we talk about the first. The yeah. Feedback? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, our first one this week was a negative feedback that we received. Our first one ever. Our first one. So it was, it felt like a big deal, didn't it? Kind of did at the time, yeah. Kind (laughs) of did. The thing that was a bit frustrating was it was on a kind of low end, cheap item. And we sell these quite regularly. They're like these little Bluetooth headsets that we got in a job lot at auction. And they've just been ticking over weekly. Yeah. Um, We sell, we sell, yeah. They're for their PlayStation yeah. 3 well, I mean, or, and Xbox, I think. Um, and they just take over nicely, yeah. don't they, for us? Yeah. And, um, yeah. Sold one to a customer. Uh, they received it and they said it didn't work. So we were mm-hmm. like, okay, we'll get you another one out if that's what you'd like. And the customer said, yes, that's what they would like. So we immediately sent out another well, one. Well, we say it immediately, right? We sent it second class, whereas we no, should... No, we didn't. We sent it first class. No. No, we sent it first class. Did we? Yeah, sent it first class. I okay. sent it. Yeah. All right, no, we'll I just didn't send it recorded. Happened. That's what we didn't do that we should yeah. have done. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we sent it first class because the difference is so yeah. like it's, it's I was seven p. Like yeah, seven yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah, but yeah, we sent it out. We didn't send it recorded. Yeah, um, and actually, this happened a day after our last Friday chat, didn't it? it? Did. So it was on yeah, Saturday was morning. Saturday. We got a message, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, we didn't get a message. We no, just got... he just left feedback. And then we uh, checked it and we were like, okay. Yeah. He left us negative feedback. Um, and it was quite derogatory. Yeah. Like, it was quite nasty. A bit the, rude. Um, he said, um, sells a load of crap or something along those lines. <laughs> yeah. He used the word crap in it anyway. And, and he said, we sell crap. And well. Yeah. If he, yeah. He, like, beware as if he's been scammed. Mm-hmm. Um, because obviously we've got nothing better to do than to swindle people out of five pounds at a time because yeah. that's yeah. really yeah. the best way to earn money, isn't it? Um, and, and, and obviously destroy your eBay account in the press because that, yeah. that, that's the best way to make money. Um, so obviously I was a bit, you know, was like surprised. I thought, um, I, I messaged the guy said, you know, how come you, you know, I see you haven't received your headset. Mm. Um, you know, I'm, I'm surprised or slash disappointed that you weren't able mm-hmm. to contact me about it rather than um, you know rather than straight leaving feedback because mm-hmm. I do offer a 30 day money back guarantee yeah. so you don't need to feel scammed I, I kind of talked more about the scammed yeah. part of it because I felt he shouldn't feel scammed from me um, well no because we yeah. sent him out another one yeah okay he and hadn't we, received it on but the then Saturday. he should have gotten back and said we, I'm still waiting now for yeah. all I know he did get the second one he probably did to be honest it's irrelevant but mm-hmm. um <laughs> You know, if you didn't receive an item, wouldn't you want to see if you could get your money back? Mm. So he's saying he's gotten a faulty item, and then he's saying he didn't receive a replacement. Wouldn't mm. you want to get your money back rather than just leave negative feedback? Mm. Um, in his case, he, he, that's what he wanted to do. So even though I said to him, I'll ha- gladly refund you the money, his response was, nice, not the money, you can keep the five quid. Which makes me really think he did get both the headsets mm-hmm. and they were working. Yeah. So he got, you know, he got what he wanted. He got the money, um, and the, you know, he, he just wanted to leave the feedback 
you know, he wanted yes. to, he felt scammed for whatever reason. Um, but which the interesting I, bit was... Well, I checked his feedback and yeah. he, he himself as a seller has mm-hmm. received negative for selling something for 99p and then not shipping it out. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know, but that's not the interesting part. No. no go on. You then spoke to eBay. Yeah. Um, and after a bit of a conversation with eBay... We managed to get the comment removed, but the negative still stays. So they can still say that we've received a negative, but they can't see the comment because of what he actually said in it. We actually had the comment removed. So we kind of feel like it was a halfway win because it was like, well, at least, you know, the comment was removed, even if the negative is still there. Yeah, because at least it makes the the, the guy leaving the feedback seem obviously not reasonable mm-hmm. because he's... His language certainly wasn't acceptable. No. To to say that, to say that we scammed him was yeah. not right, and to say that we sell crap is it's not right. Um, I mean, yeah. eBay can look into the communication yeah. that we've had with him. Like yeah. the, the message. But they wouldn't receive the feedback because obviously that yeah. if that's how he wants to feel, that's how he's going to feel, right? Exactly. So, um, so that was a bit of a disappointment. Um, we got that issue. Mm-hmm. And then hot on the heels. By the way, hi Heather, the treasure pirate. That's your new name, Malinky. Hello. Hi there. Um, we've got 55 people in it now. It's just ast- astonishing, really. Yeah. Astonishing. That's okay. Weird. And so that was pretty bad. So we had Vincent Vitique. Hi, peeps. Hi, uh, um, yeah, we got... So we got our first negative uh-huh. um, since doing eBay. Since then, we've had a slew of positives because we really do want to keep people happy. Absolutely. I, you know, That's why we do this. Yeah, I, I would have happily dealt with that, you know, offered him his money back and sent him a third one out if he wanted. They don't yeah. owe me anything, you know, to avoid getting the negative. But he just wasn't... He just wanted to. He felt... I yeah. think he was a bit bitter for some reason. I don't know what his problem was. But I don't know. I think he was obviously expecting it by yeah. Saturday. If he yeah. hadn't received it by Saturday, then... Yeah. You know, I mean, it. Darren Smart says, how dare he say it's crap. Everyone knows the term is tat. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, it's... <laughs> <laughs> so, so, it's, it, it's good. You know, it, it, it's just a shame that he wanted to leave you know he wasn't reasonable mm-hmm. if you know what I mean like you know normally when you approach someone and talk to them um, he he just wasn't reasonable he no. he felt the feedback was justified because he felt scammed I don't know how he felt scammed I didn't say haha I didn't send you a second one or, or like I didn't yeah. I didn't refuse at any point to give no. him his money back and generally yeah. we, we do yeah. we do just yeah. I mean, what kind of a scam is that? I don't know what kind of scam that would be to, to to send out cheap know. Bluetooth headsets for mm. and not. So, is it, so his idea of a scam is to send out ten pounds worth of goods and and um, mm. that, and then what? What's not the scam? Not to mention the postage that we. Yeah, not to mention the post. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, okay, all right. Anyway. Yeah, okay. So that that was the first issue. Um, um, yes, the first, we, yes yeah. we did block him. Jason, Jason asked, yeah, uh, yeah, we blocked. Yeah, not having that. Um, yeah. You don't think he was one of those nutter trolls on here, do you? Asked or should go. I don't think so. Or should go. I don't think so. I mean, it, it is what it is. Sometimes it, I think it's a game. It's a num- game of averages, isn't it? Yeah. I've been on eBay for two years. I've done thousands, like over a thousand, mm-hmm. well over a thousand transactions at least. Um, and th- you know yeah. you're bound to come up against someone that's just unhappy. I mean, uh, you know, having a look at his feedback, he's left bad feedback for other people as well. Mm-hmm. Just the way it is. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, you know, some people just want to leave it. Um, you know, um, so look, Silver Park says last fella I had said the game I sold had no booklet. You could see it in the photos. I ended up um, rebate and said keep it. Just get rid of him. Um, yeah, but no thank you or naffle. Yeah, I mean, so mm. even when you go out to help someone, there a silver pirate yeah. is, is written there. Um, sometimes it's like that. Smart reselling. Darren says I had a negative removed because the customer said uh, the customer said it arrived while I was in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Poor service. <laughs> oh, that's a phenomenal. Um, I don't know how that, you can be responsible that is, for that. That's one. <laughs> that's an amazing uh, bit of feedback. <laughs> you know, how. How inconsiderate of you, Darren. I mean, did you not know that's when she takes a shower? I mean, it, that's an astonishing <laughs> feedback. Um, <laughs> that is a great story. Um, but oh, then, dear. but then, like, you know, so that was a first. And then we had another first. Mm. Now, 
if you guys have watched Nick's videos or Caroline's videos, those guys have been reselling for ages, and I and they've mentioned this before. I think uh, this has happened to Fake Rachel as well. And it actually happened quite bad because I think it was it like was a GSP, GSP to Australia yeah. or something. Now <laughs> this has happened. Okay, um, your. Uh, we sent out the wrong items to the wrong customers. There's yeah. no other way of putting it. We just, um, I think yeah. we just quite literally must have got the bags just muddled up. Yeah. Because we put the labels Yeah, we the put the wrong items. The item the, yeah, wrong bag. Before and we carry on, I just want to answer Carp Fishing Adventures question. Uh, what do you think your net is in terms of, in percentage terms on average for the month on month? When I was tracking it, like, like by recording each individual sale, I think profit was around the 50 to 60% mark. I think it was profit on return. It was about mm. 50 to 60%. Um, so, uh, you know, like after fees and everything. So that's what we aim for. About Call it 50 just to be safe. I think mm. 50% after you pay all your fees, etc. Yeah. Um, you know, when you take the cost of the stock out and everything. Yeah, that's probably what I'd say. Yeah. Um, like, uh, let's have a look. Um yeah so we're going to move on to the other the other item um actually pippa says bex why are you not wearing the hat that z knitted for you because <laughs> z doesn't know yeah <laughs> yeah so um, yeah so um next item next item we're going to talk about next thing we're going to talk about yeah it was another first and then another bad first like i said we sent out the wrong items to the wrong people yes terrible but this is so much more positive in the end it's cost us money yeah it was a mistake so it was bound to yeah. cost us money yeah it was, yeah, it, it we, was always going to cost us we money we sent we sold like a uh, like a, an item of clothing mm -hmm. and we sold some craft stamps mm -hmm. like a couple of craft stamps we sent them to the wrong people yes. so we had to have that awkward conversation with each buyer um asking them to politely to, to let them know what to expect well as soon as i got the first one as soon as the first person got in touch with me and luckily she was a lovely lady yeah. um she well, told us what well she first she was seen. concerned at yeah. first she was concerned she was like can you let me know asap as yeah. soon as she saw that i was quick to reply yeah. she calmed down immediately because she knew she was dealing with someone that was going to be attentive to the problem mm. so she yeah. calmed down like her, her like the way she wrote her messages yeah. just flipped she was lovely after that she was um, she she's actually yeah. been really we've well, kept we we apologized profusely so. well i apologized profusely i was like i'm <laughs> extremely sorry and as soon as i find that out i got in touch with the other buyer before he received the he item even, even received his, yeah. to let him know that what was going to happen and he wasn't going to get his his item of clothing. He was going to get some craft stamps. Yeah. So, so he, which is not what he wanted. Which is not what he wanted. No. And on top of that, they're going to have to act as delivery guys yeah. now. And you have to think about it from a customer's perspective. If I bought from someone, I don't expect to then have to make an unexpected trip to the post office because no. of someone else's mistake. No. So you know, I, we're the ones that messed mm -hmm. up here, not them, right? Yeah. So we, I was really. Um, aware of this I suppose and the thing is yeah. because we just received our first negative we were like this is the last thing we, we need yeah, this do with so, right now yeah, because because this turns we out just to received our first another two negatives yeah. we, it would just be yeah, know, we were thinking we could potentially end up with three negative feedbacks in a week yeah. because we got one and then there's two unhappy customers potentially but luckily I mean we you know we spoke to, it got you know communicated immediately mm -hmm. with both buyers um, and asked them ever so politely to use whatever tracking service, whatever postal yeah. service, ideally tracked. They yeah. they was convenient for them to ship it out to mm -hmm. each other's address, and obviously we would reimburse them. And they were both willing to yeah, do it. They were hopefully. both willing to do it. Now, unfortunately, we also knew the risks of this because yeah. what's going to happen is you, they, the, the lady went into the post office said, and the post office trip. see you coming don't they they the questions they ask you when you go to the post office if you've ever been to a post office to ship a parcel mm -hmm. they'll ask you does it need to get there tomorrow does it need to get there before 1 a.m is it valuable etc and mm -hmm. they will choose your postage for you on answering those questions rather than trying to get you the cheapest shipping so yeah. a parcel that we sent out for two pound 63 ended up costing us eight pounds fifty five mm -hmm. to ship out, and we just had to take it on the chin yeah. because I did not want to cause any mm -hmm. further grief. I did not want to risk any issues, 
um, paid up on both sides. Luckily, the other guy's shipping wasn't as bad, but again, it was still high. It was like double again what we paid, mm. like four pound fifty-five. So suddenly, we've just shelled out, you know, like seventeen pounds in shipping or something. You know, it's ridiculous. Mm. No, no, it's wrong. About thirteen pounds in shipping. Pounds, yeah. You know, it's insane amount of shipping that we would never pay. But when you go to a a, a post office, they do ask you these and leading the, questions. Thing, like, yeah. The, what we've got to remember is that the customers that we're sending our items to don't necessarily know that they can go through parcel to go through Hermes yeah um, so you know when they go to the post office and go I need to send this tract yeah post office is going to go yeah yeah of course yeah and you need it does it need to get there <laughs> urgently they ask and if you yeah. say yes they, they choose for you I've seen it happen I've yeah. seen it attempted on me as well like they ask you these leading mm. questions um, and they've got to do what they've got to do but mm. we, we just took the, the the hit as it were and um, thankfully it's been resolved and yeah. we've actually already gotten a positive feedback from, from the, one of the customers and, yeah. and we're sure we're going to get a positive from the well, other we're still waiting to see yeah. when she re- receives yeah. it because hers only got sent yeah, to, to, yeah today or something yeah. Yeah, I think it was even today or yesterday yeah. yeah I'm not sure but so either way to, yeah. to hear whether she's received hers yeah, yeah but um so yeah, I mean that was um, a pretty hectic situation, mm. and it was like glad that we were able to deal with it. But yeah. you know, it's funny how these things happen one after the other, um, it, and it, you know, it's an interesting mm. thing. Like it takes like Craigslist Hunter said this before as well. It takes the same amount of effort to list a five dollar item as it does a hundred dollar item, mm-hmm. and that I found. In my whole eBay career, I've had about two neutrals, three neutrals, I think, and a now a negative. This is my first negative. Each one of those items has been low value items. Mm. Um, it, it's insane. Um, I, I mean, uh, the worst one I had was someone buying a PlayStation One game, mm-hmm. and then complaining that the cutscenes were a bit laggy, and. <laughs> It was too ambiguous, but I've got a feeling that this is someone that bought a PlayStation 1 game and is used to current day games, cutscenes and visuals mm-hmm. and was, you know, just just kind of unaware that PS1 games, yeah. cutscenes weren't super smooth. No. Um, and I, there was nothing I could do about it. But anyway, it was a, it, it shows that you can sometimes get more trouble with, mm-hmm. with lower value sales. Um, yeah. You know, like the negative I got over such a low value item, and the other neutrals I've gotten have been over low value items. So, just something to think about there, guys. Um, let's have a look. Ooh, Daniel asks question Do you update tracking numbers on all the items you send out? Um, as I've had a few people click on the button and did not um, get on time when I know they have. Um, yeah, as others have said, you can. What you can do is, if you use like the Hermes website mm. or the Parcel to Go website or whatever, you can link your eBay account with those websites. And then it will automatically automatically does it. Right? Yeah, that's right. Um, let's have a look. Mm-hmm. Um, a st- Cop fishing says nice net there, guys. Yeah, I mean, if you buy it really cheap, it, it helps. Uh, second question, lol. What's your plans with postage for Xmas? What's your cut off date for postage? I don't really have a particular plan for it. I'm just going to carry on shipping. And, yeah. and, and, I mean, when yeah, we get so. closer to Christmas, we'll probably start putting, putting up yeah. warnings and stuff. I've noticed that, that it says to... now before Christmas. Yeah. If you go on your listings now, it just says before Christmas, doesn't mm. it? So, like, for the postage, it just says, yeah, you'll, you'll if you buy it, you'll get it before Christmas. So um, that's just something that's um, that, I've, that I've noticed. Mm. Um, yeah, Freckle says second class recorded is till the 20th. Malinky says that their local small shop post office is amazing, always get the best price. Oh, yeah, I mean, it, it, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, that is um, that is good. If you've got a good yeah. post office, great. But I've also seen a different side, so yeah. it, everyone has different experiences. Um, it looks like Darren has a bit of trouble using the import feature. It never auto updates. Um, I I think it's probably just you then, Daz, because it does work for <laughs> other people. Sorry, mate. Um, we've actually had sixty people in this chat. I really appreciate everyone yeah. coming in there. It is incredible. We move the day forward as well, so it's really cool that um, so many along, yeah. The, yeah, so many of you guys are coming here. I'm hoping you guys are gonna smash the like button as well, just because I had to say it. I know you yeah. have to. You yeah. Have to. <laughs> 
should um, just do like a recording of no, that. No, no, I like saying it. Um, Silver Pirate says, Dear Santa for Xmas, I would like a hundred ka-chings. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we all we would all like a flurry of sales. Um, it's definitely what we want. Um, if you guys have got any questions, uh, please feel free to just pop them in the chat. Um, like, I think we're, we're, we're pretty much out of... Um, stuff to chat about this week aren't we i think i think so i think that's all i think that, those were the main topics notes. we wanted to cover yeah so yeah pretty good we're, we're just hoping to keep we're hoping to just keep listing listing's been a bit of a problem actually hasn't it it has it's kind of yeah. um died down a bit for us which yeah. isn't a great thing um, yeah because obviously if you don't list it you're not gonna sell it are you <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> yeah we need to get back onto that um jason okay. Entwistle says when i import um to Hermes sometimes it tries to charge me 395 yes unfortunately if you're using the import feature it doesn't use the new rules like you know Hermes now basically will ship up to two kilos for 260 or 275 mm. um, as long as it's a small parcel dimension package um, that only applies if you manually go in and and do um, you know, manually go in and enter the 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 um, mm. the shipping. If you import it, it doesn't work. Um, so yeah, that's something to to bear in mind. Um, Daniel asks, when are you doing your lighting vid? It's coming. <laughs> I'll do it. I am gonna do it, guys. I really am. I'm gonna do it very yeah. soon. I just need to do it. I think we. I'll just do it. Yeah, I'll yeah, do it. Yeah. I think I you, yeah. We're just going to have to... Organisation is what we need, yeah. isn't it? That... We need to do like um, <laughs> yeah. a little a plan. Yeah. Because, um, so yeah, we need cause... to organise our time a bit better. Yeah. It's been a bit of a nightmare this week though, hasn't it? A little bit, but not not a nightmare. That's the wrong word. I think we're just getting used to kind of me having to go out to, to yeah. work as well. Um, I mean, it's only going to be two days a week. So, you know, yeah. you're doing like three days I'm doing two days mm -hmm. um, your three days are actually less well, fewer hours you're actually doing f yeah the afternoons just... yeah so I'm doing 16 hours you're doing 13 so <laughs> yeah. yeah it works out pretty good pretty mm -hmm. good um, you know you'll get asked this every week you know that right <laughs> yeah I know I need to get it done Darren I've been talking about doing it I mean, yeah. yeah, I just need to do it. I mean, you got, had another good suggestion. It's even lighting. In, um, Nick's chat the other evening, didn't you? About oh, the, um, yeah, about doing VCR like a VCR, thing, yeah. like a tech, tech one with one, simple yeah. language. I've got to do that as well. I need to write these things down. I forget. I've got such bad memory. Um, but anyway, guys, um, really appreciate everyone joining us. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, just just humbled by it. Um, mm -hmm. If you guys can smash the like button, it's appreciated. <laughs> Why? Yeah, you don't have to. You don't want to, obviously. Yeah. Um. Anyway, guys. Um. Anyway, are you away from Xmas? Can I borrow your hat? Says Raz. No, it's mine. Beck knitted it for me. I'll be wearing it till it literally breaks. Um. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Um. And I will be seeing you. We'll be seeing you in our next video. Yeah. 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 I think so. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank Appreciate you. it. <laughs>